I'm Kim Kirk, and we're starting the second half of my list of 10 things I learned about fear. Here's what we've seen so far. Fear is not from God. There's no need to fear, even in terrible times, because God is able and faithful. It's all about perspective. Freedom from fear is possible. God's presence should extinguish all our fear. And the sixth, we can exchange peace for fear. I think we tend to see the counterbalance of fear as faith, and that makes sense, because the more we trust God, the less we are fearful. But Jesus says that we can exchange our fear for his peace, and we see that in John chapter 14. This scene falls after the Last Supper, but before Christ's time of prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. He has already told his disciples that one would betray, all would fall away, and Peter would deny him. And then he says he's leaving and the Holy Spirit is coming. They're sad, they're upset, they're frightened when Jesus says these words to them in John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace that he's speaking of here is calmness in the confidence of God. It's real and it's lasting, unlike the peace the world offers, which is dependent on circumstances and short-lived. He, he didn't say, it's not that bad. He didn't say, no terrible things or frightening things are coming. In fact, he told them the opposite, that there will be hardships and there will be trials. He's saying in the midst of this scary and dangerous time, his peace can enable them and us not to be afraid. Well, it would be hard to talk about this topic without mentioning the description of it that's found in Philippians 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's what he offers to us. So let's take him up on it and exchange peace for fear. Please join me tomorrow to learn another reason that we need not be afraid of anything.